I spent the last month making a game for the turn-based game jam by 8 bits to infinity. In this game, you control a party of three heroes. Rather than controlling the heroes directly, you must program the AI using this grid. Each hero has three of these grids, and they can be used as sets. You might want to make a set where every hero is an all-out offensive, useful for dealing a lot of damage. Another set could keep two attackers and one person healing, etc. Switching sets to adapt to the ebb and flow of combat is the idea. Each one of these pieces takes an input and produces an output. Some of the pieces retrieve information about the current battle state. For example, there is this self piece, which just gives you a reference to the unit that this grid belongs to, and this health piece, which when linked to a piece that returns a unit, will return the current health of that unit. There are a wide range of pieces, some of them are quite granular. I also added some pieces which do multiple things to make it a bit easier to understand. Some pieces are action pieces. These are not immediately obvious, but if you can click on them, you'll see they have an AP cost at the top right. Action pieces will be tried on every unit in the battle once per the hero's turn. The order of the action pieces matter. Starting at the top left, the game will check the first row from the left to right and then move down to the second row and then check that from the left to the right and continue until the end. If you want to make an action take precedence, then make sure to utilize this. Because the core concept was complicated and I decided on making the test battle a 3 vs 3 rather than a 1 vs 1, the battle part of this prototype suffered greatly. It is functional but not easy to understand what is going on due to lack of animation and feedback. This was a successful prototype in that I have been thinking about this idea for a long time and finally tried it out. I realized that this idea was not really fun to play and very hard to design. I'm going to shelve it and work on another game design. Don't be afraid to spend a month trying out that idea that you've been thinking of. If I had done this earlier, I could have freed up my brain for other things. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.